Hey, good morning. Here we are on the AMS Osram booth at Electronica. It is day three. It's been a really packed show. I'm here with Clemens Muller. Clemens, it's been four years, can you believe it, since Electronica last Unbelievable. happened? Unbelievable, exactly. What do you think is the biggest technology breakthrough? What's the biggest trend or what's the biggest change for AMS Osram in those last four years? So it's clearly both companies coming together here, yep. AMS and Osram. And that really puts us in a position to have optical solutions for our customers, which is, for example, our brand new uh, imager device here, the Mira 220, right. which is completely trimmed on energy efficiency, quantum efficiency, um, things which you need in robotics, battery-powered robotics. So that would be a typical application exactly. is robotics, exactly. industrial automation, industrial... Biometrics, what are we up to like now? Is it 5.0, 6.0? Well, I lose track. <laughs> well, it's... Uh, um, yeah, it's, uh, I think, kind of addressing really the needs of the customer. Kind of, we took a lot of effort listening to our customers and creating those devices that fit best for their applications. And clearly, things like our spectral sensors that you might have seen already doing material categorization and anything around presence detection. And you have modules, I think, for the Mira product. So that makes it really easy for the engineers Absolutely. to design it in Absolutely. and to really get a feel for how it can work. That's exactly the point. You know, it's not just the imager. We also kind of have just recently launched a new partner network. So working with partners to have a complete vertical integration that customers can not only see a demo, but get access to a complete integrated system that they can directly start working on. Okay, perfect. Now, all around, I've been walking around yeah. the show quite a bit. We came to the show with what we thought was going to be a great, unique theme, empowering a greener future. Everywhere we look, there's the sustainability topic. COP27 is happening in conjunction with Electronica right now. How does AMS Osram fit into that whole decarbonization theme? So that's kind of one of the guiding principles for us. For example, here's this image. We have kind of taken this as an example, really kind of optimized it for quantum efficiency. That means less illumination power being spent when you're on a battery device, battery powered device. Um, you see this in uh, kind of in our, all of our LED business, having kind of highest possible efficiency that you get the watts, kind of the, the lumen, uh, lumen per watt. Yeah. So this is all that we optimize it. Or sensors kind of miniaturized kind of replacing complex solution by simple digitalized sensors so you do not need to have too much effort on extra computing power. Yeah, I mean, LEDs have almost become ubiquitous, haven't they, in terms of lighting, but we, we, mustn't, re, we mustn't forget that how much energy is spent Absolutely. in the world just on lighting. So the, the more power efficiency we can get out of that, the better, right? Especially kind of combining this with sensing yeah. to make it smart. Yes, exactly. So you're leading the way in that. Fantastic. So if there was a visitor, there's a lot of people that maybe haven't been able to come to Electronica for whatever reason. Virtually, if they had been on your stand, what's the one message that you would have liked them to take away with them? So it's kind of, if it's about optical solutions for sensing, for imaging, it's us. We combine the illumination and the sensing part with optimized products. Perfect. Thank you, Clemens. Great Thank speaking you to you.